So there's the eight women and the focus of attention. The cameraman's looking at Majinka Kabunji in lane four. But keep an eye on Eva Svoboda in lane six and Daryl Nita just to Kabunji's left in lane three. They have looked absolutely terrific both in the heats and the semi finals. Rani Rossius in lane four. She's going to have to raise her game though if she's to get amongst the medals. So as they settle down from lane one, it's Belgium's Gile Betsawi, Spain's Gile Betsawi just settling into her blocks. In lane two, Annalise Martinez of Portugal. Lane three, the tall, long striding Daryl Nita of Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Lane four, Majinga Kabunji of Switzerland. Rani Rossius of Belgium is in lane five. Eva Spaboda, six. Alexandra Berghardt of Germany in seven. Delphine and Cancer, second Belgium in this final in lane eight. And it's both Kabin, Kabunji and Svoboda out quickly, but Kabunji holds her form over the final 30 metres and she takes it, equaling the championship record, subject to confirmation of seven seconds exactly. Well, that championship record has stood since 1986 to the great Dutch sprinter Nelly Koeman. And it's taken 37 years for it to be equaled. Majinka Kabunji now confirmed as the gold medalist, adding to her world indoor title. Gold goes to Switzerland in seven seconds exactly. Eva Svoboda, 7.09. That equals her seasonal's best. Well, it was a ragged start from Daryl Nita, but she came through strongly in the second half of the race to just grab the bronze. Rani Rossius just being run out of it, but gets a personal best of 7.15 for the Belgian. What a terrific run though from Kabunji. She was matched by Eva Svoboda over the first 10 to 20 metres but then really started to go through the gears of motor. One of the fastest and some fast times behind. There's a lot of celebrating going on for these women down there. Ava Svoboda looked delighted with her silver medal against her tally at the European level. It was tight on the line between her and Daryl Nita. Virginia Kumbunji comes to the party and then seven dead. Silver medal. Something you should be very happy with. World indoor champion becomes a European indoor champion, just like Oriol Dongmo completed that double a few seconds ago. Well, the medalists are trying to sort themselves out. They're just being get into the so conventional order of having the silver medal to the right of the gold medalists and the bronze to the left. It is the three women we expected, but Majinga Kabunje excelled to get that championship record of seven seconds exactly. So Voboda had a good start but couldn't maintain her momentum over the second half of the race. Daryl Nita, in truth, never quite in the battle for the gold medal, but did well to come through strongly and make sure that Britain was represented on the podium, having won so many medals at the 60 metres in the past. So a good result, and as you were saying, I think there's a few more personal bests. We'll get confirmation of all eight times in just a moment. But big, big, broad smile from Majinga Kabunje. And just to think, turning the clock back to the pre-pandemic, we used to think of her as a 200-meter runner. Majinga Kabunje has worked on her start, won that world indoor title from lane eight. That was a bit of a surprise. Did come here as the favorite for me fastest on paper coming in with a 703 from the Swiss Championships. She had to run under protest there and she uh, there was a bit of a complication there with the start. The result did stand in the end and Majinga Kumbunji said, I know I can go faster. That was a disruptive competition. And she's shown it here today in Istanbul. Seven dead. Lovely to see a sub-7 copy of Majinga Kumbunji. So cool and calm under pressure. Voda with that silver medal. I have noted down some research on this. Daryl Nita has never beaten Ava Svoboda uh, indoors, so I think it did definitely go to the form book here today. Yes, Daryl Nita 
has had a rather patchy performance in major championship finals, but on this occasion she held a nerve and came through to get the bronze medal. And there was no stopping Virginia Kabunji. And I have a feeling if anybody had been challenging her, some of the top American or Caribbean sprinters, she'd have laid down the gauntlet to them as well. It's a bit difficult comparison. Yes, there's been other people on the other side of the Atlantic who've gone under seven seconds, but for my money, Majinga Kabunji is the best in the world. So what it, what it, what it, the American what it, what it, what it, what it, what it, in yeah, Julian Aldred went on at 6.97 last weekend as well. So there we hit, see, the final gold medal. The results, Majinga Kabunji, 7.00, exactly equaling the championship record. Ibrahim Svoboda, 7.09, Daryl Nita, 7.12. Those are the medals, Rani Rossius. 7.15, personal best. Alice Martinez, well, that explains why she was so delighted and celebrating, equaling the national record of 7.17 for Portugal and a 100th improvement for the Portuguese athlete, following in the footsteps of her husband, Pedro Pichado, taking gold just a few minutes beforehand.